Welcome back. Well, another hot one across the area today. Got up to 95 degrees in Lafayette. Uh, let's get back to that graphic. Check out the record on this date just last year. 99 degrees, and we know how the rest of the summer went last year. And believe it or not, this July is going to finish out in the top three of warmest Julys. In spite of 20, 21 days out of the month raining, we have those overnight lows that are skewed so far above the mid 70s, closer to 80 degrees this month, and that's where we were this morning. So let's get it over to the key wall. Talk about the rainfall here and the rainfall. Well, yeah, it's been a good month for rain for sure. You can tell by the way the grass and the weeds have been growing this year, and at least we have some days to dry out, so no excuses to go out and cut the lawn. You may have to cut at like one foot high, then lower the mower to six inches, and then lower it down to grass level at times and at least our rain chance is staying low in the days ahead 10 percent or less perks up a little bit for the weekend going into next week but we're going to be in the widely scattered to scattered category more than likely uh, across the board so a more typical summer scenario right now though we have high pressure bridging from Oklahoma Texas down into the Gulf of Mexico pretty much knocking all the rain chances down from Texas into Louisiana this afternoon and this evening we see a little bit more active shower activity off to the east over by Pensacola still seeing another little thunder shower cluster there and we can put this in motion and show you that uh, activity is generally moving off to the southeast uh, over toward uh, Florida elsewhere just ground clutter close to home and power Doppler 3 all is quiet thank you and that's the way it's going to go in the nights ahead a uh, big change or a little bit of a change from earlier today heat advisory expanded into Acadiana this afternoon uh, this evening and southwest Louisiana still going to be quite hot. Uh, heat index at least 108, perhaps 109. But once you get 108 consistently, and today we pushed 110 for a couple of hours, uh, weather service reacting to that. And we may see that heat advisory get extended back through Acadia Parish maybe for tomorrow as well. So here's the big picture as we look into the tropics. High pressure dominating at the surface in the Gulf of Mexico right here. We open things on up and we have really no trouble spots to talk about. We do have a little bit of a tropical wave that's right about here. You can't even see it and there was a little bit of a low right here uh, and the two together may develop with time and that's uh, what what the National Hurricane Center is looking at giving it a 50 50 chance of development it's holding at 50 uh, it's uh, it's tenuous at this point and if development would uh, to occur would be in this area this is not a storm track this is just an area where the storm may try or uh, some sort of potential disturbance may try to form now we look at spaghetti models but we don't have spaghetti models for this system so we're using the, using the European ensemble models here, courtesy of weathernerds.org. And it looks like whatever may develop is going to stay east of, hopefully east of Florida and maybe the southeast U.S., but we can't call that quite yet. Ensemble models, bunch of different tweaks to the same European model to see a range of possible outcomes. Now, if this does not really develop and remains weak, we could see some moisture get into the Gulf of Mexico. But here we capture it right here. You see this on what's called the determination. European model while well, I'm showing you here it's one model run and it's the most likely model run but uh, gives you an idea that uh, the Bahamas are going to get some rain perhaps South Florida by the weekend and then uh, the Carolinas will have to watch this one closely hopefully it curves out to sea and hopefully we don't see any of that moisture coming into the Gulf meanwhile in the near term hot and humid temperatures in the mid 90s uh, during the day upper 70s at night and more of the same Wednesday with rain chances staying minimal across the area and temperature wise we barely get below 80 if that low to mid 90s in the afternoon and the heat index will be the story heat indices common 105 or better and you take a look at uh, the prime time for those plus 100 degree readings starting probably at about 945 till about 745 we're going to have a heat index over 100 so keep that in mind if you have to work outdoors for sure 79 your overnight low quiet night ahead uh, with generally fair skies maybe a few patches of fog by daybreak then 94 95 the high tomorrow. That heat index pushing 110, so sweltering out there. And as we move forward, more mid 90s, so that's going to cement uh, this July of 2024, probably in the top three, maybe top two of hottest Julys on record. Of course, last year was the hottest. We'll talk more about that in the days to come. And then the afternoon storms returning this weekend and continuing into next week. Typical summer weather, no tropical concerns. That's it for weather for now. We'll have more later on.